hello guys so today we will be discussing about another antimicrobial agent that is aminoglycosides uh, so i will be dividing aminoglycoside into two parts the first part we will discuss about the introduction mechanism of action and the mechanism of resistance about the aminoglycosides and in the next part we will be discussing about the spectrum of activity indication adverse effect pharmacokinetic and clinical consideration of the aminoglycosides so let's start uh, quickly so these aminoglycosides are generally uh, uh, made up of a central hexose nucleus central hexose nucleus which will be attached either side by the amino sugars by an glycosidic linkage by an glycosidic linkage that is both are glycosidic linkage okay so uh, originally it was isolated in 1940s it was discovered in 1940s uh, originally this aminoglycoside was isolated from an a gram positive uh, bacteria which is uh, species actinomycetes and gram positive uh, arabic bacteria and later on uh, in 1943 the first aminoglycosides which was used clinically for the treatment of tuberculosis was uh, discovered and isolated by the American biochemist known as Selman Waxman and he named it aminoglycosides as streptomycin because it was isolated from streptomyces crisius. So this is streptomyces gracious is in swell vector bacteria it is in swell bacteria later on uh, this is uh, Selman Waxman also discovered another uh, aminoglycoside known as neomycin from an another species of bacteria same sp another species of bacteria that is streptomyces freddy and later on with the advancement of the technology uh, some more aminoglycosides were discovered such as natural aminoglycosides glycosides such as your uh, gentamicin and tobramycin gentamicin and tobramycin and then uh, some uh, semi-synthetic amino glycosides were also synthesized in the lab synthetic amino glycoside from now onwards i will abbreviate amino glycosides as ag so semi-synthetic amino glycosides like natilmycin and amicacin were also uh, made in the laboratory so uh, and this uh, amino glycosides this all amino glycosides were active against is active against your gram negative aerobic bacteria which is the important point to and uh, important point to remember so let's quickly move on to the mechanism part so uh, the figure shown here is a general structure of the gram negative 
bacteria which is composed of an outer layer of uh, lipid bilayer followed by an uh, periplasmic layer periplasmic layer then comes the cell membrane then comes the cytosol okay so in the lipid bilayer you can see the porin channels and through this porin channel only this amino glycosides will enter inside the periplasmic layer uh, by the process of passive diffusion once they are inside the periplasmic layer they will again enter they will cross the cell membrane and they will enter the cytosol by an active process where they utilize oxygen and energy Once inside the cytosol, they will go and bind to 30th unit of the ribosome and they will stop the synthesis of protein. And in this way, uh, it will inhibit the bacterial uh, growth. So generally, uh, if we observe whatever the antimicrobial agent which will hinder the protein synthesis are bacterial static in nature bacterial static in nature but in this case amino glycosides is a special one uh, they may cause amino glycosides may cause uh, dose dependent bactericidal effect dose dependent bactericidal effect dose dependent sidal effect that means in a high dose this amino glycosides will make bactericidal effect and uh, there are post antibiotic effect has been also observed in the amino glycoside that is post antibiotic effect post antibiotic effect means after the amino glycosides uh, after the amino glycoside concentration in the body uh, goes down below the minimum inhibitory concentration then also this amino glycoside will show uh, bactericidal effect they will hinder the bacterial growth uh, uh, half, once it's below the minimum inhibitory concentration so that is known as post antibiotic effect so let's uh, move on to the uh, some uh, clear view so in this picture we have just generally i have told that it will inhibit the 30s ribosome so how it is inhibiting let's see here so before that you should know that this 30s ribosome will uh, will will be help in reading this mrna template okay so this 30s ribosome will read the uh, codon right codon in this mrna template and then it will signals the tRNA and then this tRNA will bring the anti-codon sequence and correspond to this anti-codon whatever amino acid is there they will keep on increasing here so in this way the protein will be synthesized so what our amino glycosides will do they will go and they will bind to this 30 S ribosome in ribosomal unit and it will cause the misreading of the mRNA template and thereby it will cause uh, it will cause it will hinder the protein synthesis the protein synthesis will ultimately stop because it is causing the misreading of the mRNA or if the uh, if the protein synthesis is not stopped the synthesized protein will be defective in nature which cannot be used by the bacterial bacterial uh, process 
now uh, let's see the uh, resistance mechanism resistance mechanism developed by some of the bacteria against the aminoglycosides the first one is your efflux mechanism efflux pump efflux pump so uh, if suppose this is a bacterial cell and they have developed some kind of pump here okay that some kind of pump here this pumps this pumps duty is to take whatever amino glycoside is inside the cell to take out okay that is efflux pump so whatever amino glycoside will enter the cell this efflux pump will take this amino glycosides out of the cell so this is one resistance mechanism another is your less permeability of the cell membrane so some bacteria has developed uh, uh, some bacteria has modified their cell membrane so that they are less permeable to the amino glycoside less permeable cell membranes this will ultimately lead to decrease uptake decrease uptake of amino glycosides and the third one is your uh, some bacteria are uh, nowadays some bacteria are uh, mutated and they are able to synthesize and compound known as uh, not compound it is an enzyme known as methyl transferases methyl transferases this enzyme will aid uh, methyl group to the specific bases in the rRNA so they will add a uh, methyl group to the specific bases of rRNA so this rRNA is responsible for the alignment of your uh, your uh, mRNA and the ribosomal units so if uh, this methyl transferase will add CH3 there is a methyl group in the rRNA this makes the ribosomal pocket uh, small this make the ribosomal pocket small where these antibiotics are generally binding okay so this uh, antibiotics are binding in the ribosome the ribosomal pocket will become small because of the presence of this ch3 group suppose uh, for example uh, this is the pocket this is 30s ribosome and this is the pocket where uh, your this is the pocket where the ag your amino glycoside should come and bind like this okay so suppose if in this place the ribosome the r uh, the rrna will be modified and they will add some groups suppose ch3 so ch3 so these are bulky molecule this is a very bulky molecule this ag will be unable to bind in this pocket because of the presence of this bulky CH3 molecule and therefore uh, this AG will be unable to bind to 30th ribosomes and thereby this protein synthesis will be continued normally in the bacterial cell. So these are the three resistance mechanisms. So first one is reflux pump. The second one is your uh, permeability so less permeable uh, some bacteria have developed less permeable cell membranes and third one is the synthesis of uh, your uh, methyl transferases by some bacteria which uh, uh, which aids uh, methyl group in the ribosomal rna basis of the ribosomal rna which result in the shrinkage of the pocket where the uh, amino glycoside generally binds and then uh, thereby amino glycoside cannot bind to that pocket and the bacterial protein synthesis continues so these are the resistance mechanism and today we have discussed about the introduction and some of the drugs name then the mechanism action and the resistance mechanism i hope you like the video please subscribe to my channel and please like the press the like button 
if you like the video uh, thank you very much for uh, listening to my lecture very uh, patiently